Okay, so everybody, okay, everybody who's in the chat, let me let me move this on over because we have a developing story here. Um, J. Ron Curse, okay. What we know is money talk and bullshit walks, and right now what we've got is, if you're looking up here, you'll see J. Ron Curse's Instagram page, which has currently only three posts on here, all of which were with him when he was a Minnesota Viking, and he has deleted all of his pictures of being a Dallas Cowboy. Uh, so this may be the, the long kiss goodbye. And figures, Dallas Cowboys, screw you and the horse that you rode up on because you had the opportunity of me playing the best safety play that the Cowboys have probably seen since maybe Roy Williams. I, I, I can't think of anybody else who's played any better since uh, Darren Woodson. Um, and he said he wanted to come back to Dallas, but in the end, it's about, you know, He's got a family he's got to take care of, and he's got to go ahead and get paid. And when you start looking at some of the contracts the Cowboys have had with others and trying to think that he's going to take a team-friendly deal, there are no friends and there are no team-friendly deals out here because you can make a contract. They don't have to honor the thing. They can cut you. They can cut you at any point and say, screw you, we'll, we'll, we'll you know, pay you the very minimum. But we as fans always think that, oh, he needs to take a team-friendly discount. What does a team do for the players in, in your mind to say that we, we got your back? Uh, what, 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 I mean, seriously, I, I don't see why people think that players treat this like family other than it being a business. Oh, okay, wait, 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 so Gina, oh, the Gina's saying that, hold on, oh, <laughs> okay, I've been fooled, okay, somebody fooled me, okay, shout out to Gina, investigative reporter, okay, she says this is his real one, so what comes up is the wrong one, all right, can I say I'm an idiot then? I'm about to say. I was going to say, some, I, that, when I looked up J. Ron Curse. That's the first one that came up. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Oh, but still, okay, I had the wrong one, but still. Okay, so this is the legitimate one. Okay, okay. This is the legitimate one, and the this is the only picture that's on there. Oh, my goodness. All right, so one post, J. Ron Kirk. So um, I wasn't quite as an idiot as I was. I just had the wrong one with the wrong picture on it. But again, um, I, 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 Roland, are you talking to us? I think Roland is talking to somebody else. All right, so J. Ron Curse has removed everything. He has actually one post, one picture on there. And he does look suave there. He does look suave. So, um, don't know. Don't know. We'll see. But, again, the Dallas Cowboys have made a major move. They they brought back Jake. from Not, not Jake from State Farm. Jake, Jake McQuaid. They brought him back. And, and they have got him signed to the veteran minimum. So, so we've done something. And, well, no, actually, we've done two things. Uh, the Eagles have signed Hassan Redrick, uh, Hassan uh, Redick, God, Redick. I can't even speak now. I I'm just so messed up right now. I'm so messed up that we have Philly going crazy. Okay, do we need to go to the Philly cam? Hold on. Let me go to the Philly cam here. Let's see what, you know, we'll bring you the coverage here. Let's see. Let's see. He hasn't gone crazy. Oh, 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 I'm behind. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, so we got some news here. 
All right, so the Eagles have signed Hassan Redrick. Wow. Okay, big moves for the Eagles. All right, we'll see if that comes back to bite them in the ass, you know?